Hey guys, it's Laura. Um, and I'm back with part two of my mega haul. Um, there was a, a dollar store that had a grand opening today, um, down the street from where me and my fiance just moved. And so, um, I'm really excited because, um, my previous dollar store that was actually by his parents' house, um, ran out of paper flowers. And, um, they had the fabric flowers, but I prefer the paper flowers. And uh, this dollar store had a lot of them. Like, they're not going to run out anytime soon unless somebody else like me happens to find the stash. But anyways, um, so they had these um, blue ones. There we go. And those are so pretty. And then I got these smaller blue ones. And then I got these itty bitty blue ones. And then... Hold on. I found the large pink ones. And the medium sized pink ones. And I've actually never seen the pink ones at um, my previous dollar store before, so... I'm excited about those. And then I got the little pink ones. Um, let's see. And then I got this because our shower doesn't have a stopper. And I came home from work on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday's kind of my Friday. Um, and my feet were sore and I was just sore all over because I've had a really busy, busy week. And uh, I wanted to take an Epsom salt bath and realize that we don't have a stopper in the tub. And so I couldn't. So I got those. Um, and then I found bunches of butterflies. So I found these pink butterflies. And they had white ones. And purple. And they have... These long stems, so you can put them, you can use them kind of like a spray. And then they had these blue ones without stems. Um, and then they had these purple ones. These are my favorite. And these blue ones. And, um, I'm not quite sure what this is, <clears throat> but here, let's open it up and find out what it is. Give me one second. I got it because, um, it looks like I could use it for a charm or something. Oh my god, it is a charm. Okay. So, that's what it looks like laid out. And they had a bunch of these in like all different um, styles. There's two of them. It says it's from New Century. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to use them as charms in an album, probably. I didn't really know what they were. I just saw that they looked like they could be used as a charm and decided to pick it up. And now I'm glad I did. Um, and then I found these, um, they're like jewelry making kits where you can make this necklace out of it. Um, it's from Jill Schwartz. Um, but I'm probably not going to make it uh, a necklace out of it. I'm probably going to use these flowers in one of my scrapbook pages, um, and then I also found this one, and I picked it up for the cameo and the key. Uh, there's a little turquoise one. That one kind of looks like abalone, except not quite as blue. And that's just a rock, and then a, like a teardrop. And then <clears throat> this one I also found. Um, and I actually bought this one a long time ago and made the necklace, and it didn't really work too well as a necklace. Um, but, uh, 
It would make great scrapbook embellishments. So I got those three. And the last thing I got was this bling from my dollar store that says friends sassy, crazy, and love ya, and this pink flower here. And uh, again, if I can't find a use for these, I can use Patch Treasures and Crafts idea and cut them up. Um, anyways, I'll try to put a link down below. Um, and just so y'all know, my scrapbook mini album is finished. Um, Anyways, um, I'll post a video for that in a little bit.